What's up everybody, it's Aiden Sports Show. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be an AFL Evolution 2 Melbourne Demons coach mode. We're back again, we've got Carlton. Sorry if you missed a little bit of the introduction. I've stuffed up this intro about four times now. So uh, <laughs> yeah, without further ado guys, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn notifications on, help share the video and the playlist with all your friends, everybody interested in AFL Evolution 2 and the AFL. Obviously, this is Melbourne versus Carlton if you haven't seen already. Melbourne are ready to go, Carlton are ready to go. Carlton are actually, I believe, seventh. And if we beat them, we could potentially kick them out of the eight. With Melbourne, if we lose, we could potentially actually um, fall to second. I'm not really sure if that's going to be the case, but with our percentage, I think we'll relatively stay first. But we've got a big return today. Maxi Gorn, Maxi Taxi has come back against Carlton. A big, big, big return for Max Gorn, especially close to finals. Two episodes left until the finals begin. So big stuff there. I'm very happy to see him. And we've got our best team forward. So let's get into this, man. Let's see what Carlton have to offer. Let's see if Melbourne can um, damage the Blues, man. That's, that's going to be the goal. Obviously, our last game for Melbourne was against Carlton in real life. And we saw the outcome of that. Very controversial. Um, very close game. And it looks like Carlton are going to start off with the ritual of scoring first. Even if it's a behind, the ritual continues, guys. It's, it's a legacy that will never be broken. All right, I'm going to play it on here. Oh, okay. Hunt. No mark. And it's going to Wittering. Carlton actually have... I think Carlton have one of the better squads in the AFL during this time. Uh, my squad rating is 86 now with Max Gorn returning. Um, Carlton's 84. It's actually relatively high considering the rest of the league. So they've done well. And they're in the eight for a reason, guys. So I need to take them seriously. They could cause damage. And they're just my here. They've scored the first goal. Carlton on the board early. Fisher with the goal. And Melbourne have seemed to get into trouble in the defensive side of the game so far. Max Gorn is winning the winning the hitouts, but we're not really hitting it anywhere. It's that's of use. Good tackle by Oscar McDonald. Good tackle by Stephen May. We need to get the ball. Oscar McDonald holding the ball. Oh no, we could definitely go down to Carlton at the at the minute with two goals in the first quarter. It doesn't look like he's going to get there. Big punch by Stephen May. Cleared away. Nathan Jones really need a mark here. No mark. But Jaden Hunt. Go on, son. Go on, son. Tom McDonald. No mark. He tries to go for the one-hander. Hand passes. Malstrom, who I put into a new position, has done me well. And we've gotten back into it. Malstrom, I put it full forward now instead of half forward. I feel like he's definitely better better maybe with overall there so it's good to see man Carlton again Max Gorn wins it but Carlton just get the possession is I need to watch where I hit it that's the next objective for me to learn Max Gorn pushing the back by Viney and Cripps one of the best players in this game by far is gonna take a shot he's not a good goal scorer from my knowledge but he's put that through very comfortably and he shut me up man Patrick Cripps uh, this seems to be the usual that doesn't even look like him. Anyway, let's see if we can get this hit out. Max Gorn, bloody near hit it to himself. Uh, Hans, he hand passed to open space. That could work out for him, you know. And the pace is helping out here. Hand pass to Petrarca. Hand pass to McDonald. Touch behind. That's very sad. Sad reacts. F in the chat, guys. That's humiliating again. I've, I've got a rush behind, man. My friends legit told me today not to score a rush behind, but I've only gone and done it, man. Once again, putting myself on the internet as a meme, it just doesn't seem to work out for me. Good mark, but... Oh, jeez. Uh, I nearly stumbled on his name. Anyway, Hunt. No mark by anybody. Tackle. No prior. Oh. Oh. I could have sworn he didn't get rid of that ball. But Carlton are going to make me pay for my mistakes, it looks like. Big punch. May with the tackle. No prior opportunity by Thomason. Four minutes, 50 left to go. Carlton up by one goal. Nathan Jones. Oh, he's using his pace. And it's in, he's kicked into a one-on-one -on -one contest here. And Brown. Please let me soccer it. I've soccered it. I might just... Neil Bullen's going to take this. 
take the scrums. Neil Bullen uses his pace to get in, and I feel like Neil Bullen has had a very good season for me so far. So fair play, lads. Fair play. Way to have a go, man. And Max Gorn is going to hit another one right to right to him sometimes, man. Max Gorn's hitting them so well, it's going to Carlton on purpose. It's almost like he's uh, he's playing for them. That's a good mark, but it's not going to get anywhere. And Stephen May now. Eddie Betts can't seem to keep up. Tom McDonald in perfect position. Liam Jones being that interceptor that he normally is gets to gets control of that play. Gorn's going to hit it away. Tackle. Gorn. Can anybody take a mark here? It's punched away by McDonald. Salem. End of the quarter. It's all squared in the first quarter between Carlton and Melbourne. Now, we need to definitely control where we're going to hit this ball because it, I just feel like things are not going our way in terms of the rock contests. And we've hit it forward now. And again, Carlton just get on the end of that. The tackling is not going well for Melbourne. A big punch by Jenner. Very, very crucial to this team. Gorn tackled. And that's not holding. I just got the ball. What is that, man? Come on, play fair. And he's played on. He's kicked it short. And no mar no um, interception. Eddie Betts, goal for goal. You can bet your ass this is going through. Eddie Betts stuff is not one to miss from here. Unless we can get a punch on. We can't. It's a goal for Eddie Betts. Stupid call when it comes to holding the ball. That's disgraceful, man. Nowhere near was I holding that ball. Anyway, Carlton are going to keep playing on. They're using their pace. And they've got a second, I think. They've decided it's going to be a behind. There's Nurse kicking in for Melbourne here. Going to kick it to space. Surely a good mark. No one marks. Nathan Jones tackles. Viney, hand passes Neil Bullen into open space. Can't get it to Petrarca. And it's, it just seems to be tackles everywhere. Carlton, man, they're absolutely decimating me in the midfield. This is tough. And it's a tackle by Viney. Our midfield is not showing up. Patrick Cripps must be a key factor in that, obviously. But May, oh, I didn't mean to hand pass that. But it's, I think it's okay. It's a good mark by Petrarca. We need, a, we need a runner here. Anyone want to make a run? Going to play it on. Going to kick it over here and hope for the best. Of course, Carlton get that mark. It's just typical, isn't it? We need a big punch. and we get a big punch? Tackles. We need the tackles to keep coming. And they don't. And here come Carlton again. Mark Murphy. They're playing short and they're playing smart 40. Viney gets the tackle. Crucial there. We need to get a goal now before things get a little bit too late. Going to hit it backwards to Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones has time to clear. And he does, does so well. No mark from anybody. And again, Carlton just bring it right back. This is frust Honestly, I can't lie. I'm super frustrated. First of all, look at how many people are open. And again, they're going to get another shot of goal. Another, another defensive lapse. I don't understand how we could let 10 people open within the bloody 50. But even further than that, we just can't seem to get the ball going into our favor. That's a terrible miss. That's a shocking miss. Um, I don't know who that is, but yeah, shocking miss there. I'm going to play on. Going to kick it to a, to a contest. Again, no one marks. Brayshaw, I have to kick it, man. I need to get it into the forward line. Good bump. Come on, another bump here. Would be lovely. Good tackle. And here we go, Petrarca. Petrarca gets the goal. And we've, we've made it close again. Two-point lead for Carlton. Petrarca ends up losing the competition and he gets the goal. I was very hesitant to shoot that, to be honest. Prusi now is taking the ruck. This is what I love. I love having two ruckmen that can win win things. Like, Prusi did very well uh, while Max Gorn was gone and it really helped out his overall a lot as well. Big punch. Tackled. McDonald kicks it into the forward line. Round with the... Oh, here we go. Hand pass to Neil Ball and that's perfect. That's genuinely perfect. And the goal to follow suit. Great run from Neil Bullen. Again, Mr. Consistent on my team. He might not have a spot next season. He just might if he keeps working like this. Prusy. Viney kicks it. 
anybody can mark will do here. No one does. McDonald's, high tackle, Liam Jones. I guess that's Malstrom. Perfect sunny day, no wind. I think this is a perfect, just about a perfect kick for Malstrom. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I'll take it. And we take the lead again. We further it. We extend it with 16 seconds left. We are up by 10. That's exactly what we needed. Again, Carlton don't have a second ruck, and I feel like that's going to be their downfall with Cruz coming back and Gorn coming back. We've exposed their rucking position, which is sort of what happened in real life too. But um, we're just going to keep on moving. Keep on moving. Max Gorn with the win. Again, hits it right to Carlton. I need to figure out exactly where to hit that ball. No, oh, oh, oh. Okay, my bad. I played on by accident. Sometimes the R2 gets jammed. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, that's a beautiful kick. That's going to be a mark, isn't it? No way to block that. And Carlton Fisher... If he misses this, I feel like there's genuinely something wrong. There's no win whatsoever. This should be a nice and beautiful kick. And it is. Carlton score. And they bring it to a four-point game. This is as close as you can ask for a game, man. Left and right, forwards. Everybody's having a hit. And Carlton now using their hand-passing play. One of the better hand-passing teams in the, in the AFL in real life. And oh my... I'm pissed, and they've kicked the goal. I'm genuinely pissed with how the AI react to our, to, to our defense. What is that, bro? Why is there someone that wide open? There's nothing going on in the midfield for anybody to push or anything like that. And they're still... Weedering with the mark. Carlton up by two. I can't lie. Like, this is genuinely so annoying to play sometimes. Big hit. Playing Oliver with the tackle. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Come on, I don't know where to hit this. I'm going to hit this to Viney and hope. Viney clears. How's that not 15? I'll never understand. That bounce will not work out for me well. But I'm going to get a tackle on Liam Jones. We're going to force it out to the boundary, man. Again, they don't have a ruck. I don't really know where to hit this, you know. I've taken the shot. And it's a goal from Salem. Now... That is completely by accident. I think you all know I pressed the triangle button there. But hey, man. Accidents going into goals? That's perfect. Cruz wins. How's that? How? 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 That's ridiculous. First of all, I bloody kicked it. Anyway. And watch. Look how many people are open! Do I have to scream to get my point across, man? I'm not controlling everybody. How are there so many people open? Bloody hell, man. You, I have my settings on defensive. There should be an extra man in defense. No one should be open. Jesus Christ. I have like the best average of defense in, the, in, in this game as well. Like, what is that, man? Hand pass. Fritch. I'm taking it now. Oh, I went too far. Of course, I fucking went too far. Oh, I could have sworn I took a bounce, man. I don't know. Uh, no comment on that. Brayshaw with the hits. I haven't seen much of Brayshaw, to Brayshaw today. High tackle. Um, 50. This game. This game's taking the piss. This game's actually taking the piss. Liam Jones interception. Socket it off the ground. Touch behind from Tomlinson. This game is genuinely taking the piss. It's like, I see that this game is a little bit glitchy. I'm going to raise you with another glitch. That's basically what's happened. Big mark by Gorn. Oh, he's, he's punched it. Okay. Alrighty. Hand pass. It seems like things are working well in terms of that. Carlton's defense is, is not as good as I expect it to be. But um, they've, they've let a lot of open runs into the 50, just let him go. And we're up by 10 again. It's not the greatest, it's not the greatest. I expect more to be done. Max Gorn is still on. I guess he's playing as a forward now. Um, and watch, watch how many people are gonna be open. Jedi, we need you here. Great tackle, big bump to Cripps. McDonald, Salem needs to clear. There we go, Gorny. Gorn with the mark. Fair play, Max Gorn. Um, There we go. Open man. Hopefully. No one. Nathan Jones is there. Nathan Jones. Tackle. 
Jesus, he shrugged that off like a champ. 11 seconds left. The quarter's going to end. 10 points is the difference. It's all up to the final quarter. Melbourne and Carlton have put each other through the grinders here. Melbourne have been exposed defensively, and so have Carlton. This is a game of goals, a game of offense, and let's see who's going to win it. Patrick Cripps win the, won the ruck against Max Gorn. That's something you'll never see. And here we go again, Clayton Oliver. Come on, we need a big mark here. Bailey Fritch with the mark. Uh, okay. No movement in the forward line. This feels like Melbourne in real life sometimes. Gonna kick it to the forward line and hope. And again, I just have my hopes and dreams crushed by the Carlton defense there. Oh, he's missed the mark. But they end up, they got a bailout there. Fisher with the mark. There we go, Cripps making moves off the ball. One of the better off the ball players in the competition. Again, there's no one available. No, like there are so many players open, but the AI just won't let them get open. Like won't pass it for Carlton. Harms, they have. Look how many players they have. It's it was bound to be a goal, wasn't it? It just was. Like after you get the first tackle off, there's about ten players open. It's almost like they just stop moving after the tackle. I don't know. Viney, Hunt, Leon Jones is going to get that mark. No interception there. Melbourne have a four point lead. Things could still go drastically wrong. They've played on. If we don't get this goal, we don't get the next goal. Things are going to be serious jeopardy for, for Melbourne. And same for Carlton if they don't get the next one. Come on, big punch. Hunt. Tackled. No one could get this. Oh, good interception. And Jaden Hunt, I hope you can use your pace, son. And kick it where it needs to be kicked. Tom McDonald, surely. No mark. Big bump. Hunt. Tackled. Bruce is coming off. Max Gorn taking on the rucking duties. Viney. Mark. Oh, man. And he's played on. Come on, Gorn. We need you here, Gorn. Oh, my God. Maxi Taxi. I miss you, man. Maxi Taxi. I miss you so much. Oh, I miss you. Surely nothing's going to happen there. It's a goal. Max, it's good to have you back. I'm so happy to see you, man. You may have hit every ruck, every ruck contest to, to Carlton, but you've done something that I know you can do all along. You've kicked a goal. That's very crucial. I'm going to hit it forward because I see Neil Bullen. Max Gorn even gets a tackle, and Neil Bullen is free here. Kicks it to Petrarca. Petrarca's going to not get there. Okay, thank you, game, for not giving Petrarca that chance. Oscar McDonald, no mark. Lever bumped out of it. Brabrashaw says no. And can't... Come on, Bull... Jetta. They still have a chance, Carlton. That's a bit... That's a bad angle for them. There's someone open in the goal square. He's played it on. Out of bounds on the full. Not a good shot. He probably shouldn't have... I can't see. Look. Come on. Just look at that. Where am I supposed to kick to, game? Where am I supposed to kick to? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, thank you so much. It's an honor to play this game. Like, are you serious? Some of the easiest things this game has a problem with fixing. This is not something that is just brought up. It's been reoccurring since the game's come out. You expect better, man. You genuinely expect better. I don't know if they just can't fix it something wrong it just keeps coming but i don't know what it is but fix it man it's not <sighs> just gonna just gonna calm down a bit i still can't believe this game hasn't fixed the fight jesus christ and carlton are gonna get it back here come on we need a punch we need a punch there we go well done mate mcdonald he's gonna clear it away soccer off from brown sun good tackle and the game is over Melbourne have defeated Carlton. Um, it's just... It's, uh, I, it's just no comment. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm happy I won, of course. But seeing stuff like that, man. Seriously, seeing stuff like that, it doesn't make you feel good. It genuinely doesn't. Like, I'm, I don't know. Maybe because I'm really passionate about this game. And I feel like it's very fun. But... 
you just want to see, I guess you just want to see things get better, and it just wasn't the case. There you see the man of the matches, of course, Carlton. I think Carlton definitely played better, just couldn't put the ball to the goals. Uh, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm also not happy. Like, I, I thought this would have been well and truly over by now when it comes to um, the actual fixing of some of these glitches. But this has been a day one glitch. It's annoying. It's so annoying. And yeah, look, anyway, a win's a win. Carlton, unfortunately, could not get at the end of it. But they've actually moved up. They were seventh. I don't know how a loss moves them up, but fair play. It looks like they're going to make the eight. Congratulations, man. This is a very weird... These are very weird. Uh, so, you, just letting you know, guys, during this uh, perfect time in the eight, most likely, I don't know, there's, some, there's a chance for some of these teams. You're not going to see Hawthorne. You're not going to see Richmond. You're not going to see Bulldogs. You're not going to see the Bombers. And you're not going to see West Coast. <laughs> oh, my God. But you are going to see... You're gonna see Carlton. You're gonna see Gold Coast. You're gonna see. You're gonna see Geelong. You're gonna see the Giants barely. Look, that's a very weird ladder. That's a very very weird ladder. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. North Melbourne is next on the agenda, and then we're coming for the finals. We're still in it to win it all, and we can win it all. Next season of free agency, we're going to get exactly what we need. And we're going to go again. Um, win, lose, or draw, we're coming back for another season. But why not end the season off with a victory, with a premiership? And that's the goal. It's always been the goal. Always will be the goal. Let's go out there and let's go and take it. Have a wonderful and safe day. Take care and peace.